Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Prince of Peace. My name is Cindy. I am a born-again Christian about 21 years now, and I've been a psychiatric nurse for about 10 years. I'd like to share with you some things that I've learned along the way. I've written some notes for myself to keep up with what I would like to share with you, so I'm going to refer to them also. Uh, this word is from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. This is the New International Version. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This verse says we are to consider it pure joy when we face trials. Now, what does this mean? When I have faced trials, I have cried. When I have faced trials, and, and by trials that also implies suffering, uh, I have uh, isolated, gotten away from everybody. Now, isolation at this time means something a little bit different. Does the Lord mean pure joy is like, like being happy, ha 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 ha, laughing every moment? I don't think so. There can be moments like that, joyful moments, that's wonderful. But I don't think it means having a personality where we have to be that way every single moment. To me, that doesn't even make sense. But I do think that it means during a trial, we can smile and we can laugh when it is appropriate. Laughter, in fact, is very good for us and it releases a lot of stress and tension. And we can do these things in times of trial because we have hope, because we trust in God. I think COVID-19 is one of these times. Certainly it is a trial. As a psychiatric nurse, I have taught patients that we are able to control our emotions. And when we react angrily or inappropriately to what others do to us, we have actually given them power over us. The Bible constantly warns about not having control over ourselves. As we are told in Proverbs 25, 28, like a city whose walls are broken, whose walls are broken through, is a person who lacks self-control. Let me read that again. Proverbs 25, 28. Like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. So, that, this verse also tells me that we have the capability of self-control. And of course we know that self-control is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Now, controlling our emotions is important especially during this time, when anxiety, fear, and the stress that that produces is permeating negatively throughout our entire society. I would recommend reading your Bible daily and praying, giving God all your emotions. We can leave all our emotions at the foot of the cross. And we, I think, especially need to do that when other people are not behaving appropriately to us, and that will help us control our reactions to that. Do not allow others to have power over your feelings. Give your feelings to God, who loves us and cares for us, and certainly He will help us. I urge you to persevere. These are days of great trial, but the Lord provides strength and wisdom, and even through COVID-19, Jesus Christ is speaking. Our faith is being tested so that he can see who has genuine faith. We are being refined through our relationships, how we treat people, and how we react based on how we are treated. And I speak to my brothers and sisters in Christ now because you already know that Christians that we will be the first to be judged. So it is a process. We are witnesses of each other, and of course, the Lord is the faithful witness of us all. He sees our hearts very clearly, 
and indeed we do trust his grace and his incredible mercy. Now the testing of our faith, as we are told, produces perseverance. The testing of our faith comes in small and big ways. If we choose to be kind or unkind, how we respond or do not respond to someone in need, if we play God or choose to let God be God. Now that might seem like an odd thing to say, but through the years, I have had to learn to let go and let God because I cannot solve every problem in this world. And why would I even think I should? We are not heroes, nor should we try to be. We should live in obedience to what the Lord has called us to do, to be, and whatever that is, do it well for Him. So I'm going to urge you to persevere in faith, and to you and your family, many blessings.